Three minutes past the hour of 8 o'clock. Good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Jeff hanging out in the Kicks 96.5 studios. Beautiful day in northeastern Wyoming. Well, we love featuring indie artists on the show. And this morning, we're heading to Ohio to chat with award-winning singer-songwriter Andrew Dean from Andrew Dean and the Farm Machine. Andrew's latest album, Wanted, is out now. He just released a couple brand new songs, uh, Texas and Tennessee and Soaking Up the Rays. And they're both not nominated for next month's Indie or ISA Awards. We're excited to have Andrew on the show. First, Andrew, thanks for coming on. Oh, good morning, Jeff. It is great to be with you. Yeah, well, you're in Ohio. You're you're on tour. I mean, you, you play what, over 200 dates a year. You live in Florida, though. Where do you stay in Ohio? Do you have family or what's going on? Well, we're up by uh, Sandusky, Ohio, which, by the way, is the roller coast of... Uh, of Ohio, uh, due to Cedar Point now and the roller coasters. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're up around uh, vacation land here in Ohio. And then, uh, of course, we go back down to Florida, but we get all points in between. <laughs> yeah, he does. If you go check out his website, andrewdean.us, uh, you can check out all of his dates. Well, you started out as a rocker in your 20s. What swerved you to the country path? Well, let's see. Um... I think probably a, a wife and kids, and I started living a country life, you know. It, it got real in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, where'd you grow up? I grew up in a little one-stop light town, uh, a little town called Gibsonburg. Uh, very proud of my hometown. Uh, they really are, are very patriotic. We have a beautiful bakery there, by the way. And uh, <laughs> so... I like having neighbors. You can walk down the street, just wave and say hi and, and ask how things are going. You know, that's small town USA. I love it. Yeah, for sure. And then where are you at in Florida now? Well, we're about an hour north of Tampa. So it tucked away in a little uh, country place out in the middle of nowhere. So we kind of like it that way. Yeah, for, for sure. Well, and it's funny because you said when you grew up, what was it? The babysitter, if you were if you were good, would let you listen to the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Carol Michaels. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Man, that that got you started. And your mom played what? The organ for the church. Yes, she did. She played the organ. She uh, directed the choir. Uh, my family was very musical. My dad came from nine kids. And uh, oh, my aunts, and, oh yeah, my aunts and uncles would come over, and they all were beautiful singers. And uh, my mom would play the the grand piano we had in the front room, and they would sing old hymns. And uh, boy, oh boy, I, it's I would have to go around from leg to leg singing their parts. So that's kind of how I learned my harmonies and all that good stuff. So. Wow. Well, and if you go to his website, andrewdean.us, and you click on awards, you've been winning awards since like 2000, I mean, actually 1997, Andrew. You've been around a long time. <laughs> Were you signed? Have you always been indie? What? No, I've always been indie. Uh, I, I enjoy uh, uh, being independent, being able to write my own music, uh, perform my own music. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've always been independent. But, uh, you know, I've, I've still always got my shingle out there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and the indie scene has blown up in the last, I mean, five years, ten years. When when did you kind of see the shift to this current indie scene starting? Oh, my goodness. I've seen it over the course of time. I mean, where uh, when I was uh, originally uh, starting, it it was a pretty tough tough not to crack but uh yeah. in more and more would you get your home studios and more studios opening up and things that avail uh more writing opportunity for people uh, a lot of seminars and things like that that certainly weren't available when we first uh, got going so it's always good to get involved with these things because uh you know and and i say this still today to myself it, it always uh you always have to improve on what you're doing and and uh, work at it so uh, it's a good way to do it and network with people. Well, and probably back in the early 2000s when you told people you were indie, they probably thought, oh, he's crap. You know, he's, he's an indie <laughs> artist. He's he's nobody because you're not signed. And now you tell people you're indie and, and it's it's a lot cooler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I I, uh, I love what I do. So I never really let opinions get too much, uh, too much <laughs> on me. You know what I mean? Well, exactly. <laughs> that's why that's why your music's all over the place, too. Do what you enjoy. That's the main thing in life. Night Sky Records. When did you start this? 
Uh, we started that back in about, uh, I'm going to say around uh, 2000. Oh, wow. And Yeah, yeah. So we've, we've had a lot of different, uh, different artists we've had on our, our label as well uh, that also have, uh, they're indies, but uh, we help them however we can and, and uh, whatever we can do for them to, uh, to get them exposure, get them out in front of people. Uh, we truly, uh, truly are all about that. Yeah, go check him out, Andrew Dean. He's at andrewdean.us. He's on Facebook. Go to Spotify, listen to all of his stuff. His latest album, Wanted, is out now. The Wanted CD cover. I, I like this, Andrew. Are you are you wanted by the law? Are you an outlaw? What, what was the inspiration behind Wanted? Well, I got to tell you, on that one, Jeff, it was kind of funny because uh, I, I, my wife said it would look good in a post office. So I, I wasn't sure what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hanging from the light poles uh, all around yeah. here, uh, out west. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you recorded it in Nashville. How long have you been working with guys in Nashville? Many, many, many years. Uh, I hate to even say how many years, but it's well <laughs> over uh, twenty. Well over twenty. <laughs> oh wow! Well, then you've seen a complete shift in Nashville. Oh yes! Oh yes! Has it been easier working since you've been doing it for 20 years with people in Nashville? Well, um, yes and no. I mean, uh, when you get into the business, you start looking at uh, at different things. Uh, you just have to uh, realize that, uh, I guess, the country music scene there is what it is. But I also record in Florida. So, I mean, I've got two different studios, which is kind of nice. Uh, I, the one in Florida is, and this is fun just to say, wiki-watchy. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we, uh, we record there and, uh, I have a, a, a full array of different stuff that I, I do there, uh, from, uh, from Trump country to, uh, you know, uh, traditional style country to, uh, modern style country. Uh, I really have a free reign to just, uh, explore music and, and the sound and, uh, and love it. Just love it. Yeah. You, you said it. What is it? That Trump country? Is that what you said? Yeah, that, yes, that's that. Uh, that's that beachy stuff, kind of your, kind of your Buffett stuff, but uh, with a little twang. Yeah, we had the guys from El Wincho on, and they went down to some huge convention, and he's like, "You would, you wouldn't imagine. It's like a whole. I mean, it's a whole lifestyle. This trop music. Yes, it is. I mean, yes, it, it is. It was we crazy." Uh, what he was yeah. talking about, but yeah, that sounded like they were having a good time. Your wife Terry, does she perform with you? Uh, she does at times. Yes, uh, we have we have a, I have a, a philosophy with with my indie uh, playing and all. I have a, a full Nashville band. I can I can do shows with that, uh, and then I also have uh, um, regional bands I can work with, as well as uh, I can do uh, either a single or a duo show. And that's kind of what we refer to as rocks, pebbles, sands. And, and, and that is uh, whatever the budgetary needs or, or things are, we, uh, we work around however we have to work around uh, for the venue. Wow, yeah. Whatever you're looking for, Andrew uh, can do it. That's for sure. He's, he's got everything. Six albums out, but it, it seems like the music is just flowing out of you right now. What is, why is that? Oh, well, it's always been that way. Uh, even back in my, my rock and roll days, I was writing rock music. Uh, I've got notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks. And uh, I just, when I, I mean, there's some strange, strange uh, papers in there, like, uh, you know, things you dry your hands on in the restroom and stuff. I mean, I use whatever paper I can. And sometimes I write it uh, down in the middle of the night, and then I have to try to decipher what it is. So that's... Uh, that's the whole thing there. Well, yeah, because what's your inspiration? Is it, I mean, when you wake up in the middle of the night, there's a thought in your head? Is it, you walk past something? Is it, what is it? I dream music sometimes. I mean, it's, it's really crazy, but, but I love music. I, I started with the yardstick and singing in front of my mom and dad's stereo, playing the yardstick. So, 
Uh, they knew they had a problem early on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Music music was running through your head. Go check him out, andrewdean.us. He's on Facebook. Uh, go uh, to Spotify, listen to all of his other stuff. Wanted is his latest CD. Single Soaking Up the Rays, you're going to hear that here coming up very soon. The, the International Singer-Songwriters Association, it's a huge organization. You've been involved with them. You're up for eight categories. Coming up yeah. August 5th for this year's awards ceremony. I imagine you're going. Oh, yes. I, it's, it's the only time you're going to see me in a tux. My wife makes me dress up. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the tux already? I do. I do. But I got to tell you, I think the last time I wore it was uh, maybe at my wedding, which was a long time ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can fit in it, for one thing, and how long I can hold my breath to stay in it. So that'll be really good. <laughs> what? Uh, so this is the first time you're going? No, no. We went last year. Uh, okay. We went last year. And uh, actually, we won uh, Band of the Year there, uh, so uh, uh, the silver. And uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to this year. That organization, I'll tell you what, you know, you, you look at different organizations and things, and, and when you get involved with them, this is one of the things that, you know, you get networking and stuff going with people. You meet people that's, that's lifelong friendships. Uh, it's just, it's so exhilarating and, and, and inspiring, and you come back. I'm fully charged once we, uh, we come back from something like that. And, I, I mean, my pen to paper is really going at that point. So, uh, yeah, I, we really love it. And we get out and meet people, and it's, it's, just, it's just really good. Yeah, the one thing I like about ICE is everyone's positive. There's no competition. Everyone's out helping each other. We see all kinds of collaborations. I saw that you went and saw Hunter Lot. I mean, it, it, oh, yeah. people are friendly with each other. They're friends. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, you want to talk about a uh, young talent, that man right there, Hunter Lot. He is quite, quite a uh, uh, good young man and quite a talent. Yeah. Uh, he needs... He needs shades. His future is so bright. <laughs> exactly. Have you collaborated with anybody? I have, and I'm, I've been working on several different things, and I've got some things in the makings right now that uh, that will be interesting when they happen. Uh, we're I can't really talk about them because I'm I'm working on them, and it's going to be like the big release uh, out there. So, but anyways. Uh, yeah, we're we're always working on things, uh, and I have uh, several songwriters who say, "Yeah, I'm having problems with this line, or I'm having problems with with this verse." And could you help me out? And it's like, "Well, try this once, or try that once," and and lo and behold, there it is in the song. So, yeah, uh, amazing. Well, and if somebody gives you an idea, you probably already have a song written about it. Well, I, <laughs> I, I get probably right with that one. So. <laughs> well, you like riding motorcycles. Uh, do you leave it at home in Florida when you're out on the road? I have. Now, I'm, I, I have to say this quietly. My wife's sitting right across from me. I can't really get away with anything here. Uh, I've got two motorcycles up in Ohio. I've got one motorcycle down in Florida. I mean, yeah, I've got a few. <laughs> He's ready to ride uh, when, whenever, he, whenever you are. And the dog, uh, the dog's on the road with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got got to have the dog. And I like Andrew. Is the Oasis sign sitting next to you? He he, he takes a sign that says Oasis with him. So anywhere he goes, there's his Oasis. That's right. And you know what? That's part of like uh, soaking up the rays. It's like kind of like the the vibe of that is, you know, wherever your Oasis is, your Oasis is. It could be the beach. It could be uh, a Florida room you've made up at home. It could just be a nice place for solitude by the pool that's your oasis so that's why i take that sign along yeah uh, always always a, a positive vibe no matter where you go you just dropped a music video i'll bet you this is cool you've got like footage you got classic footage who did this uh impressive images did that so uh yeah they they uh they do uh, all my uh, all my video stuff so Nice. I've worked with them for years, years, years. Yeah. Well, and then soaking up the rays, you just kind of mentioned it. It's it's about you know whoever your oasis wherever you are. I imagine what did you write this song when you were sitting there looking out in Florida or what? Well, it's kind of interesting the way this all came about. Uh, I was sitting at uh, Pine Island in Florida, yes, and uh, 
started strumming this uh, this this tune, and lo and behold, by the time we got in the studio, um, I'll tell you, Jim, uh, our our engineer, uh, just is is uh, got a lot of good input. But I told him, I said, I'm going to play a ukulele on this. He goes, Oh no, not a ukulele! <laughs> and I said, I said, Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, so he says, Well, what can we do to make it interesting? <laughs> and I said, What we're going to do is we're going to split the chord. So what I did was I split the chord on the ukulele into separate speakers and panned them back and forth. So they go back and forth. Oh wow! Kind of like the kind of like the wind in the palms goes back and forth. You know that that, yeah. that kind of vibe. Huh. So if you have headphones on, if you have headphones on, it will go through your head. So <laughs> <laughs> just like the in wind. Mind, it just, yeah, and mine it just echoes. It must be empty in there. <laughs> wow. Go and check him out, andrewdean.us. He's on Facebook. Go and listen to all of his other stuff. Wanted is out. Now you're going to hear soaking up the rays here in just a second. What's coming up next, Andrew? What do, what do you got planned? Well, I've got a lot of different stuff. I've got I've got some gigs coming up. Saturday I'm going to be uh, at, a, at a festival in Waterville, and uh, – so that'll be uh, pretty interesting, and we're going to be on the stage for probably approximately about four hours. So uh, it'll be a lot of energy. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have no problem. You know, I, I love what I do. I'm, I'm very blessed to do what I do. Uh, of course, we've got anything from fairs festivals to uh, uh, smaller venues as well coming up, and and I get and she keeps me busy around here. <laughs> yeah, she keeps you very busy. Go to his website, andrewdean.us. Yeah, you're going to be in Waterville. Uh, on the 15th, and he's still in Ohio until about the end of the month, and then you head back to Florida for a little bit, and then you go to Atlanta, then back to Ohio. Uh, do, do you head anywhere else besides Ohio and Florida? Or is that the oh, two yeah, main we'll stops? Going, yes, we'll be going to Texas. So we'll be going to Albuquerque. Um, we'll also be uh, covering some spots uh, back towards uh, Arkansas and then back to Florida and and uh, we'll be in Florida for quite a while. But that uh, August time there, uh, that's the actual uh, uh, International Singer-Songwriter Association's, uh, their awards, and we're, doing, we're playing at the after party. So that'll be fun, too. Awesome. Yeah, he'll be in Atlanta on August 5th. He's playing the after party after the awards show. Well, sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, safe travels. Have a wonderful rest of your summer, Andrew, and thanks for coming on. Jeff, it's been great talking to you. Here is Soaking Up the Rays. It's Andrew Dean. It's Kicks 96.5.